You are listening to Sacred Heart of Jesus Radio, a ministry of the Order of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. Hello everyone and welcome to today's morning prayer. We begin by saying in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. sacred heart of Jesus we thank you for watching over us last night and for bringing us safely to this day sacred heart of Jesus you are worthy of all thanks and praise have mercy on us sacred heart of Jesus we offer this day to you. Fill all hearts with humbleness, compassion, mercifulness, and love, O sacred heart, O Lord. May all hearts be united to your sacred heart. Grant that we may be transformed into your image. O living bread from heaven. Lord Jesus Christ, make and humble you down on the cross for us, yet aware of your great sacrifice we have continued to sin against you. Your sacred heart has shown us perfection. You have given us all your love, but we have not loved you with a whole heart. We have not followed your example. When your sacred heart invited us to love our neighbors and our enemies as we love ourselves, we turned and walked away. When you gave us the opportunity to be merciful and forgive those who have hurt us, we often closed our hearts instead. We prostrate ourselves before your throne and implore that you forgive our sins. Purify our hearts so that we may perfectly and worthily love and magnify your sacred heart. Amen. Sacred Heart of Jesus, we do always and everywhere give you thanks and praise for you are holy, holy, holy Lord. You are indeed the fountain of all goodness. We thank you for the immeasurable stream of mercy that pours out freely from you, our adorable heart. We rejoice at knowing that your forgiveness and compassion are constantly manifested in our life because of your unending grace. Let all who acknowledge you King of Kings praise you and thank you day and night. We now take this moment to bring to mind the needs of the Christian church. We especially pray for persecuted brothers and sisters who suffer at the hands of those who hate Jesus. And Lord, we pray that you send your angels before them to remove all obstacles out of their way and to encamp around them and protect them from all attacks of the enemy. We also pray, Heavenly Father, for those who persecute your people, that your Holy Spirit may touch their hearts so that their eyes may be opened and they may become your followers. And Jesus, we pray for all bishops especially we pray for Archbishop Brown we pray for all the apostles priests, missionaries deacons, religious and all people and Heavenly Father we pray for those who are sick especially those who suffer from cancer, lupus 
multiple sclerosis, diabetes, autoimmune diseases, mental health problems, drug addiction, or any other form of addiction. We pray for the homeless, the poor, the unemployed, and the oppressed. We pray for an end to domestic violence, an end to the abuse of women and children, and an end to abortion. We also pray, Heavenly Father, for Christine, who is currently on a medical school interview. She has done several of them already. Heard not so good news from one school already. Uh, the school of her choice. Um, if it was discrimination, the reason, because we try to understand what is going on, let it be revealed, Lord, to the point that uh, it will be abundantly clear that this is what took place in their decision-making process. Um, if it wasn't, uh, let it be abundantly clear also. And also, Lord, uh, she was not out flat rejected. Really, there wasn't a reason for it because her qualifications were quite good. But uh, if the letter that she got of being waitlisted is honest, and if it is your will, um, she would still like to go to that school uh, if they accept her. Um, also, the stills, uh, again, she's in an interview today. Let everything go well for her in that interview. And she has done a couple of interviews already. Uh, let it be good news for her, Lord. Uh, she's having a hard time getting into medical school. And not because she's not qualified. Not because she doesn't have the grades. Not because she doesn't have the scores. Not because she doesn't have the uh, resume um, with accomplishment, but truthfully, out flatly, based on what we see from statistics, there's a lot of discrimination taking place in medical schools. And Lord, I pray for all the applicants like her who have done everything they're supposed to do, who have all the things in line that they're supposed to have, and they still discriminate against them and not let them in. Uh, there's a reason why the percentage of black doctors and Hispanic doctors and all the minorities is small. It's not that they're not capable. It's not that there aren't enough black smart people out there. There aren't enough Hispanic people out there or enough whatever other minority people out there, but that they get systematically denied the opportunity to enter into medical school. And while the medical schools, Heavenly Father, talk about it and talk about it and talk about it, they never do anything about it. And so I have, have mercy on those students and give them the strength to stay the course and not give in and continue pushing forward so they can achieve their dreams. And gracious Father, we pray... For those who are sick, especially we pray for those who suffer from cancer, lupus, multiple sclerosis, autoimmune diseases, neuromuscular diseases, mental health problems, drug addiction, or any other form of addiction. We pray for the homeless, the poor, the unemployed, and the oppressed. We pray for an end to domestic violence, an end to the abuse of women and children, and an end to abortion. We also bring to you, Lord, the special intentions for the order of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. Lord, we pray that when we come together for prayer, we may pray in the Spirit at all times, in every prayer. And supplication. Merciful Father, without your Holy Spirit, we are nothing but emptiness and confusion. Let us be filled with the Holy Spirit so that we may be inspired to pray according to your will and purpose. Gracious Father, as you fill us with your Holy Spirit, let the manifestation of the Spirit be given to us. Grant us a message of wisdom, grant us a message of knowledge, increase our faith. Bless us with the gifts of healing. Give us miraculous powers. Give us 
the gift of prophecy, the gift of distinguishing between spirits, the gift of speaking in different kinds of tongues, the gift of interpretation of tongues, and the gift of love, all according to your will, and for the glory of your holy name. Lord Christ, in your mercy you have called us to serve you. We pray that you will guide us and inspire us by the Holy Spirit, so that when we speak, a message may be given to us to make known with boldness the mystery of the gospel. Heavenly Father, we live in a time when the world attempts to contaminate every aspect of our life with contradictions to your word. Help us to be strong in your God and to rely on your power. Put your armor on us, God, so that we may be able to stand against the tricks of the devil. Christ Jesus, many refuse to hear your holy message and are being deceived by the enemy. The harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. We pray according to your will that you send out workers into your harvest field, that upon hearing your gospel, many will repent, be baptized, and be saved by your unending grace. King of Peace, as you ask, whom shall I send to proclaim your message of salvation into the world? Here am I, send me. Look kindly upon you, servants. Gather here today and use each of us according to your gifts as ambassadors of your holy message here in our cities and around the world. Lord God, Heavenly King, revive us and we will call on your name. Restore us, O Lord. God Almighty, make your face shine upon us that we may be saved. Bring a revival to each one of us that from all revival many will come to hear and accept the good news of salvation. And now as the Lord Jesus Christ has taught us, we are bold to say. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O sacred heart of Jesus, to you I consecrate and offer up my person and my life, my actions, trials, and sufferings, that my entire being may henceforth only be employed in loving honoring and glorifying you. This is my irrevocable will, to belong entirely to you and to do all for your love, renouncing with my whole heart all that can displease you. I take you, sacred heart, for the sole object of my love, the protection of my life, the pledge of my salvation, the remedy of my frailty and inconstancy, the reparation for all the defects of my life, and my secure refuge at the hour of my death. I pray that you, O most merciful heart, be my justification before God, your Father, and screen me from his anger, which I have so justly merited. I fear all from my own weakness and malice, but placing my entire confidence in you, O heart of love, I hope all from you infinite goodness, annihilate in me all that can displease or resist you, imprint in me your pure love so deeply in my heart that I may never forget you or be separated from you. I beg you through your infinite goodness, grant that my name be engraved upon your heart. For in this I place all my happiness and all my glory to live and to die as one of your devoted servants. Amen. This concludes today's morning prayer i am so glad you were able to donate and pray with us today i hope that you will be able to join us later on today for afternoon prayer i will do my best to broadcast again i'm out of town i'm on the road and i'm moving around um, and i might not be able to broadcast later on but i will definitely try my best to do so if not able to broadcast you can always go back to a previous 
uh, prayer day, a previous day, and look for the prayer that corresponds with the particular prayer that you are trying to uh, do.